told you that you could help prevent injury in your dog by doing canine fitness exercises weekly. Here's an awesome lateral exercise that'll help strengthen the stabilizer muscles in your dog's core, hips, and shoulders. Hi everyone, my name's Caitlin. I'm a pet blogger from Central Florida, and I love sharing all things canine fitness, dog enrichment ideas, product reviews, you name it, I love to talk about it. So if you love all of that too, and you wanna find out all the coolest things that you can do with your dog, that you can get for your dog, hit the subscribe button because I would love to see you as a member of my possum community and help you learn some awesome things about your dog. So what I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is actually an advanced canine fitness exercise. It is taught in the level three AKC fit class. And one thing I wanna know before you start this is I to, before you do this, you have to know how to do front paw targeting and pivoting around an object. So if either of those things are new to you and you haven't done that yet, I actually have videos that you can watch first because this is an advanced exercise and your dog needs to have a lot of strength in order to do this. So this is you know, more of a note to tell you guys to keep you and your dog safe to reduce the risk of an injury and make sure they're doing and using their body properly. So if you haven't done those first, check out my canine fitness playlist. I'll have it tagged right up here as well. And you can see in my three, uh, beginner fitness exercises, you can see how to do front paw targeting. And I have a video all about pivoting around an object that also has an added challenge that takes that exercise to another intermediate level so you can also start increasing the awareness of your dog's hind end, which is what that exercise helps do in order to prepare you for this. The front paw targeting is building those core muscles, then the pivoting adds in the hind end awareness because this is kind of a combination of the two. So we are going to be learning how to do sidestepping. This is again a lateral exercise. So your dog is basically going to be moving across an object with their feet going sideways. And this is essentially helping kind of make them use their different muscles at the same time. They're gonna be having their head neutral and their front and feet kind of walking in line together. So let's get started with how to teach your dog how to sidestep. First things first, here's the equipment I'm gonna be using. This is the balance pad from Fit Paws. And I love this piece of equipment. I've actually shared a lot of different videos about it on my channels, on my blog, um, because this takes, this is a great for using for beginner exercises, but it can also turn beginner exercises into intermediate and it can also help you begin advanced exercises safely. So we're gonna be using the Fit Paws Bounce Pad and I have three total because we're going to be making a line that we're gonna be working with and walking across because you're gonna need more room than just one. Um, if you want, you can start with just two, that way they get used to it and then you can work your way up to maybe three or four and have a little bit longer, but I wouldn't do any more than that. Um, I actually would kind of, kind of stick with maybe three at the max. So we're gonna get started and we're gonna start by setting up a couple, whoop, they're flying everywhere. We're gonna start by setting up a couple, so I'm gonna do that and get back to you. Okay, so to get started with this exercise, again, the first step is having your dog in front paw targeting. So Annie, come, pause up. You wanna make sure that they have a neutral spine. <laughs> She's looking for the tree. Have a neutral spine. Her, hip, her paws are underneath, her front feet are underneath her shoulders. That's step one. So let's get her back into it. Annie, pause up. And then you're gonna actually kind of ask her to move to the side. You can kind of step into her like I did. I was actually giving her a little support underneath. I'm not pulling, I'm not pushing. I was giving her a little support to make sure she maintains, you can often <laughs> maintains her spine and make sure everything is neutral and that she's engaged. But what you do is kind of walk with them to the side. She's, <laughs> she's already trying to do the next step. I wasn't even there yet. Come here, Annie. Walk with them to the side and <laughs> sideways that was the easiest way that I could teach them because kind of like the video that I mentioned about pivoting around an object when you first teach them that you are kind of walking into them so they know the direction that you're guiding this is kind of the same thing only you're doing it from the front paw targeting position and you're staying straight you're staying facing forward in the direction that you want to go so let's do it one more time and I'm going to show you a thing that you can add on to it now any side step any side step any circle Yes, any sidestep, any sidestep. Good girl, she's so cool. You're such an awesome dog. I know, that was, well, that was really slobbery. Oh, we got into it, okay. So that is how you can level this up. This is called sidestepping to pivot. So this is again, where that video comes in handy and that skill. So you can essentially go across at a sidestep, pivot around and do the other side. And if you saw there in that moment, I didn't have to be next to her. 
And again, Annie's been doing this for a little bit, and this is actually out of all the skills and K My Fitness exercises that she has done. This is kind of my all time favorite because this is actually one of the hardest things you can teach a dog. Um, and she did it on the first try that we learned this in class. And I was like, holy crap, <laughs> like my mind was just blown. It was a major proud mom, proud dog mom moment for me. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time with this. And again, you're just combining kind of the two exercises. Annie, come. Good girl. Annie, pause up. Oh, wait, here, come here, Annie. I gotta fix the thingy. There we go. Annie, pause up. Nope, come here. I wanna make sure you're straight. Good girl. Any sidestep, any sidestep. Good girl, any circle. Any sidestep, any sidestep, any sidestep, any circle. Good girl. I kind of guided her off that one just a little bit, but that was so good. Good job, Annie. Good job, Annie. I always like to praise her and give her big jumps because that's hard. That's so hard. Good job, Annie. She's so cool. I love this dog so much because she just never ceases to amaze me. She's so talented and she just she teaches me so much so that is essentially i think she's gonna she's gonna go see if i dropped any treats which is perfectly fine because she deserves some <laughs> so that is how to teach your dog to sidestep and add a pivot with as an added challenge with the fit pause bounce pad and again i just love this because it's so versatile but this is really great for starting out sidestepping in my opinion because it's really wide and it gives your dog a lot of room and it's something that adds a little bit of core stabilization and balancing without it being too much. So I think this is a great starting point to teach that and then you can always level it up from their other equipment, which if you want to see what that is, let me know in the comments um, and I'll share you a video on how you can level this up and some of my other exercises that I've shared. I'll show you some level up options too. So I hope you guys love this video. If you want to see some more canine fitness exercises, um, definitely check out my canine fitness playlist. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've got a lot on there that I think you guys are going to love. And I'm always sharing new videos with helpful tips and other fun exercises. So I hope you guys have a awesome day with your dogs and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.